Welcome to today's grammar session. Um, we're going to practice uh, talking about and practicing some verbs for English as a second language. And as you know, grammar is really important in English as a second language. It gives us some rules and helps us to make sentences and, and helps us to think about the way that we speak. So today we're going to practice three what we call hot verbs in English. And these are the verbs to be, to have and to do. And these really help other verbs. So when we're practicing these verbs today, we're going to think about them in the present simple tense. And the times that we use the present simple tense are for lots of different reasons. So for example, when we talk about ourselves, personal information, when we talk about things that are true, facts, we use the present simple tense. When we talk about daily routines, things that we do always or usually, often or never, we use the present simple tense. And things like feelings and likes and dislikes. And we also use the information, this grammar, to report information about other people. So these verbs are really important. So, for example, I'm going to give you some information about myself and I'm going to use the verb to be. So you'll be able to hear the examples of the verb to be in my personal information. So here goes. So my name is Kerry Hunter. I am 40 years old. My birthday is in May and I am a teacher of ESOL. I'm a mum to one daughter. I'm a wife to Nick and I'm a generally happy person. So I want you to think about which verb and how I use the verb in these sentences. You might have heard me use is and am. So we're going to think about how we structure the verb to be. First of all, really important, you need your subject. So in this subject, I'm talking about I. So I am, I am 40, I am a teacher. You are. So you are a happy person. He is, she is, or it is. And we often call this the third person singular in the grammar. You might hear this in grammar books. And we or they are. So that's how you structure just the present simple tense for the verb to be in a positive way. So now we're going to think about how to make questions using this verb. And the easiest way to do this is to think about the present simple tense and then change it backwards, change it to the other way. So I am changes to am I, you are changes to are you, and so on. So try and do that and see if you can make some questions to ask another person using